Hello everyone, and Mass Effect 4 may be the next chapter in Bioware's iconic series, but in many ways it seems that they are calling back to the franchise's past, both with Andromeda as well as the original trilogy. And in today's video I'm going over all of the possible ships and vehicles we could see either returning or brand new in the next Mass Effect game. Lockhart QT Okay everyone, so today's video is a bit less scripted I guess, but I'm just going to go through all of the information we've got so far regarding all of the new vehicles in the next Mass Effect game, whether it be Mass Effect 4 or Mass Effect 5. Starting off with the SFX, currently we don't actually know what this ship truly is, we've just seen an image of it. If you look at the N7 day poster from 2021, you can see it's the one with the Geth crater, that, well, the crater that looks like Geth's head. And on the poster, you can see a brand new ship with characters walking towards the crater, filled with loads of dead Geth. But uh, yeah, if you look at the actual ship itself, it's a very sleek, circular design, which is very different from the original trilogy. In my opinion, if you look at the design of all three ships that we've had in the series, it, in my opinion, it's a common combination of the Normandy and the Tempest. It sort of involves design philosophies from both and form language from both, so it's nice to see that they are sort of doing a natural progression, I guess. But yeah, if you look at the ship, it also has the designation SFX. Now, for if you guys don't know, obviously we've had designations before, being the Tempest as well as the Normandy SR1 and SR2 for Mass Effect 1, 2 and 3. SFX is quite clearly a reference to the fact that Mass Effect, before it was called Mass Effect, I can't remember if it was actually titled it or if it was just sort of a code name in development. Uh, if you look on YouTube, uh, Carla Elizabeth's done a really great video on sort of the history of Mass Effect. I sort of really uh, employ to watch that because that goes over it in more detail as well as if you just go on like the general Mass Effect wiki you can find out more information there but Mass Effect was actually called Science Fiction X so this is obviously a reference to that but in my opinion I think this is the next sort of main cruise ship I can't see this being like just a throwaway ship I think this is the next big cruise ship the main ship that we will actually be able to sort of fully customize walk around on and talk with our crewmates in what from we're traveling from destination to destination in sort of like again the Normandy and the Tempest but that's not the only vehicle that we've had confirmed for the next Mass Effect in two pieces of concept art as well as very brief Briefly in the teaser trailer all the way back from the Game Awards in 2020, we could see a brand new ship called the XTB or XT8, it's sort of hard to make out, Mudskipper. Uh, Bioware have actually confirmed that it is called the Mudskipper. Back in 2020, right after the teaser trailer from the Game Awards, the ship was officially named Mudskipper and has appeared in multiple Mass Effect 4 promos since, and it could surprisingly be a fitting successor to the Normandy or the Tempest or, and I, I think this is more likely since we have this SFX ship, that it could be a sort of planet to ground air shuttle like we had in the original trilogy where, where the Alliance and Cerberus both had shuttles. Uh, Mass Effect 3 you went in the shuttle loads where you'd go down to the planet and then you'd have like little cutscenes that would play in the shuttle. But, uh, but yeah, I, I think this is going to be the next big shuttle. If it's fully sort of explorable, that would be really cool. If it's essentially the shuttles, but a bit bigger, and then you can have a little conversations in it, and you can have, I don't know, maybe interact with a couple things in there whilst you're waiting to go to the planet, or maybe whilst you're on planet. Uh, this could also be an indication that the planets could be more open world. For example, uh, the ground shuttle could act as a home base whilst you're on the planet that you're currently on and you could use it as a home base for maybe resources again like talking with your squad mates and whatnot but in many ways it seems like it's a callback to the franchise's past with the shuttles from as i said earlier the original trilogy in more moreover really they were in andromeda but they didn't really feature that much but the one thing that we also haven't had confirmed yet is an actual on-planet vehicle. Now, in the previous games that we've had in the Mass Effect series, we've had the Mako from Mass Effect 1, we've had the Hammerhead, which appeared in Mass Effect 2, as well as the Nomad, which appeared in Mass Effect Andromeda. The Nomad and Mako were very, very similar in design. They were sort of more 
uh, tank-like vehicles that would actually let you sort of go over bumps and mountains in some cases, and it would have like a cannon on, for example. And obviously you've got the Hammerhead, which is more of like a hover vehicle, but filled the same role, really. Whereas the Mako and Nomad were more based for exploration, the Hammerhead was more for getting from point A to point B whilst choosing things. But we haven't had one confirmed yet for the next Mass Effect, as we still don't know if it's open world, or if it's like the, uh, the sort of old trilogy where it's going to planets and just sort of going around like in Mass Effect 1 for example. We currently don't know if we have a sort of, I don't know, like a, a Mako or Nomad replacement. Personally, I don't think we should have one, but uh, again it depends on what style of game they're making. If it's an open world game, like uh, the areas in Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect Andromeda, then I think yes we'll need one. However, I've, I think if it's more like Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3, I, where it's more linear, more cover based shooter, more tightly focused with sort of on ground walking around exploration on, on certain planets and certain areas, I don't think we'll need one. But again, we're going to have to wait to see what Bioware do with it. Anyway everyone, thank you so much for watching the video today, and again thank you so, so much for all the love on the Mass Effect videos recently. I love Mass Effect, I love making content for it, and I can't wait for the next game in the series. Thank you so much for watching, and for more Mass Effect content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out the rest of my video catalogue. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye!